Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. Today I have for us another 36 millimeter Tag Heuer Carrera date model. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, you saw I posted a uh, silver dial 36 millimeter, the first one we got, <clears throat> excuse me, not too long ago. And now the uh, second one uh, has just come into our inventory here, the blue dial with uh, kind of like a rose gold uh, markers on it, uh, hand, uh, hands and markers on it. Um, I think it looks really good as well. Uh, I'm still looking forward to reviewing the pink dial. I know uh, many of the women who work here are looking forward to seeing that one. I think many of them uh, are hoping to possibly even uh, pick one up themselves. So uh, again, I'll go over the dimensions on this. 35.8 millimeters uh, diagonally across above the crown. So 35.8 is what I measured. 35.5 uh, uh, horizontally here across the 3 to the 9 on the polished bezel. You can see kind of does just sit on top of that case a little bit. So 35.5, just ever so slightly smaller than the actual case dimensions I came up with. 30.9 millimeters, not quite 31 millimeters from the three to the nine across the sapphire crystal. 10.2 millimeters thick, 41.5 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, 19 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 17 millimeters at the deployant. We have a fold over style clasp, dual push button release, we do have half links, no micro adjustment. We have half links on both sides of the bracelet, and those are removable by uh, pinning collar. So if you have a block, uh, sit this down in there and tap those out. Look for those arrows. Uh, hopefully, you can see sometimes on tag, you know, it doesn't really matter which way they go. Uh, other brands have arrows uh, if you're not familiar with how to do that. Exhibition case back. We have the Tag Heuer Calibre 7 movement. 56 hours of power reserve, signed non-screw down crown, 50 meters of water resistance, and on this stainless steel case and bracelet, no links removed, 114.3 grams, retail price $3,200. So hopefully that gives you an idea of all the specs and how this wear. Again, you have some alternating polished center links, which to be honest with you, I don't mind. Uh, I am not a huge fan of polished center links on most watches, but this every other link one, doesn't bother me a bit. I would actually would wear this without issue. Um, I, again, just a little bit to kind of give you some light play on that bracelet. Uh, but I actually prefer this over the all polished uh, center links, the all PCL. So again, blue dial looks good. And uh, if at any point in time I have all of these or, or more than a couple of these in stock, I'll do a review with all of them at the same time so you can see them side by side as well. Date window there, nicely framed at six o'clock. So let me throw this on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Pretty compact lug to lug, even for 36 millimeters. You know, 41.5 is pretty short. Um, you know, I've had 36 millimeter watches with 46, 47 millimeter lug widths or um, lug to lug. So, pretty compact overall. And again, I'll kind of show you, start showing you guys clasps. I have not been doing that historically, but I want to let you guys see what the clasps look like on my wrist as well. So. Overall, nice package. I think people will be happy with this. Let me hit the loom or hit the lights and give you a quick loom shot. As always, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.